now we are going to talk about the magnetic elements of the earth so what are the three different magnetic elements of the earth the first one is known as the magnetic declination magnetic declination which is represented by the let uh, symbol theta so magnetic declination is defined as the angle between geographic meridian and magnetic meridian of the earth suppose we have our earth like this and we know that the this is the geographic meridian connecting between the geographical north and geographical south of the earth and this is the magnetic meridian that connects the magnetic south and geographic north so when we stand on any point on the earth surface we can observe an angle between the direction of uh, the magnetic meridian and the geographic meridian of the earth therefore the angle between these two meridians or these two point uh, these two directions at any point on the surface of the earth is known as the magnetic declination or theta now next term next important term is known as the magnetic inclination magnetic inclination inclination or dip which is represented by delta so what is the term magnetic inclination so magnetic inclination is basically the direction or oh, which is a particular angle um, which gives us the direction of the earth's magnetic field we do not have to study all these in details just you have to understand that magnetic declination is used to determine the direction of earth's magnetic field at any point on the earth's surface now this is the earth's magnetic field and this is the geographic uh, magnetic north magnetic south and the magnetic field lines are like this from north to south from north to south this is south and this is north so the field lines will be passing from north to south like this so at the equator of the earth delta is equal to 0 because the angle it is taken like this and at the point of the poles the declination is taken the inclination is taken like this and here the uh, value of the de delta is equal to 90 degree you do not have to study this in details just you have to understand that magnetic inclination is used only to determine the direction of the earth's magnetic field and at the equator its value delta is equal to zero and at the poles at the pole the value of magnetic declination delta magnetic inclination delta is equal to 90 degree the third one is the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field at any point on the earth's surface you have earth's magnetic field at this point the earth's magnetic field is like this at this point earth's magnetic field is like this that means at each point on earth's surface the direction of the magnetic field is continuously changing suppose this is the direction of the resultant magnetic field b at any point so this magnetic field can be split into two vertical components that is the horizontal component of the magnetic field BH and the vertical component known as the BV so this is BV and this is BH and the angle that horizontal component makes with the resultant magnetic field of the earth is known as the magnetic inclination delta so these are the uh, so bh is the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field these are the three important magnetic elements that you have to study now we have to understand what is the relationship between b bh and delta suppose we have this is the resultant earth's magnetic field b which can be resolved into two perpendicular components the horizontal component bh and the vertical vertical component bv so these are the two horizontal uh, two normal components uh, and the angle made by the resultant magnetic field which bh is known as the inclination delta now we have to obtain the relation with the relationship between b b h and delta so let us name this as o a o b 
and OC. From the triangle OAC, this is a right angled triangle and you can apply Pythagoras theorem and all. Now, now taking cos delta, cos of delta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Now what is the high adjacent side OA? What is the hypotenuse? OC that is the value of OA is equal to BH and OC is equal to B. We can say that BH is equal to B into cos delta and similarly now when we consider this particular right angled triangle we can write that sin delta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so what is the opposite side of sine delta so this is the opposite side of sine delta this is equal to this particular side so sine delta is equal to opposite side that is ob divided by hypotenuse oc which is which is given by bv divided by b therefore bv is equal to taking b to this side we have b sine delta so one equation is obtained and the second one is also obtained now squaring and adding both the equations that is bh square plus bv square is equal to b square sine square delta plus b square cos square delta that is bh square plus bv square is equal to b square taking common sin square delta plus cos square delta is equal to 1 now this term is taken as 1 then we have bh square plus bv square is equal to b square or b is equal to root of bh square plus bv square we have dividing the equation 2 by 1 we have tan delta is equal to dividing this equation by this equation sine by cos b and b gets cancelled sine divided by cos is equal to tan delta then we have bv divided by bh so these are the four important equations that you can derive from the above triangle above uh, square and in next video we will talk about the important terms some of the basic important terms in the magnetism